Okay, so this is Rob's uh, take on a on a carving turn. Uh, just to start out, uh, looking at some posture and biomechanics, I'm seeing um, like pretty decent upright posture uh, and a really nice twist forward. The same things I was talking about on my video, where my one shoulder is twisted forward. Rob has that as well. Rob, something to think about if you draw a line from your chin. Ooh, that wasn't quite vertical. Let me get a better one. A vertical line down from your chin. Just looking at that, I would say it's maybe slightly forward, that, that some of your torso engagement in this stroke is coming from a, um, a really enthusiastic lean forward. Um, just looking ahead at that, we're going to uh, try and zoom out a little. Go. I am seeing a little bit of movement to your life jacket. I think there could be just a touch more in the twist, and I'd like to work with you on that just to understand what's available to you in terms of your twist. As your paddle blade goes fully in the water, just check your top hand there. I want to compare it to mine for a sec as I come around the bend. So see how mine, uh, I'm, I have my forearm like on my forehead there. My blade's, uh, I think, about the same amount in the water, maybe a little more in the water. As your blade drops fully in the water and you start to pull on it, ideally your top hand here is just a little lower. Um, with it up above your head like that, uh, puts your shoulder in a position that's a little less strong. There's just a little more leverage potential pushing back that way on your blade if you were to flip, for example. So keeping this nice uh, right angle of a box here. Uh, some people talk about the paddler's box. Something to think about. Something interesting to watch for you is as you reach forward, your boat, uh, the hull of your boat drops down in the water a little and then lifts up just slightly. Seeing a little bit of that on mine too. 